tonight. How underwater speakers will be used to scare sharks away from WA beaches. A coffin cheetah bikey gang event triggers a massive police sting. And a freak spring storm nobody was expecting. Yeah, the biggest hell I've ever seen. Live across Western Australia, GWN 7 News with Noel Brunning. Good evening. Those reports soon, but first tonight, a bushfire watch and act warning is in place for people near the Muir's Highway in the Shire of Manjimup. A fire is burning in forest near Black George's Road. It's about 10k southeast of Manjimup. It's out of control and unpredictable, with flames up to five metres high. And a forecast wind change is expected to push the fire towards properties in the northeast. We've been told there is a possible threat to lives and homes. If you are in the area, put your bushfire survival plan into action. If you plan to leave, leave now if the way is clear and if you're not at home, do not try to return. To other news, scientists have discovered that great whites have a weakness, a savage creature that's killing and devouring them off WA. And this summer they're going to try using its underwater song to scare sharks away from swimmers. <laughs> This is the sound that could one day keep our beaches safe. The call of the killer whale. And a sound it's hoped the great white shark will fear. After a deadly couple of years along our coast, this summer researchers will pump the sound of the killer whale through underwater speakers off WA beaches. A female police officer has been stood down after being charged with assault in the Goldfields Esperance district. Police are staying very quiet on what triggered the charge. Gordon Cut uh, Jordan Cuts has more. Rachel Carey in Eton for GWN 7 News. Good to hear we're not expecting any more freak hailstorms. But Sean is here now to tell us about the hot and humid weather. Yes, well, we have been certainly feeling it today in the south. Now, it is all because of a trough it's sitting right there. Now, I've got some good news. If you like, it's going to be a little bit cooler. Recording an absolute scorcher today, though. Wickham Primary, and big thanks to our weather watchers there, Ashwin, Rani and Jack. And it was a little cooler at Bridgetown Primary. Hello to Casey, Kelsey, and also to Tristan. And stay watching. I'll have all your weather later. Thanks, Shauna. Coming up, the invisible illness doctors are struggling to understand. That special report is next. Plus 13 lives saved in just a few hours as deadly currents cause chaos. A 51-year-old who went missing in the Pilbara has been found. He went quad biking with mates near the Fortescue River yesterday, but was reported missing just before nine last night after the group decided to return to Panawanika. A land and air search found the man this morning. The opposition has accused Transport Minister Troy Buswell of abusing his power after he admitted asking his office to arrange a driving test for his son. The South West MP says he asked his staff because he couldn't get through to book over the phone. My view... Uh